Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Code Canvas. In this video, we will see background attachment CSS property. So, the background attachment property in CSS specifies how to move the background relative to viewport. So, there are three values possible for this background attachment property scroll, fixed, and local. Okay, so let's see with an example okay so in html let's say we have one div and in that div we have another div okay so let's add one class let's class called scroll okay so this is the first case the first property value scroll we will see and with this class you can add internal as a class okay so there is one div and second div inside that div with scroll and internal class all right in css go to internal class let's give some height let's give 40 400 pixel for example and fit 100 percent okay so this is internal class and it will be common for all three cases okay okay and the second class we can write down is the scroll okay we will write a specific css for scroll before that we need to uh, write down a common css a scroll as well as internal and other classes that we will see in some time okay let's add height 200 pixel for example width again 100 percent max width we can give 650 pixel let's add some margin 30 pixel auto okay so we can see some spaces and to see this property in action we need to add overflow x as hidden we will see why and overflow y as scroll so this is the default scroll property that we are giving to overflow y okay and let's see how it looks so right now nothing will be there because we haven't added any content or anything in the background okay so let's say in scroll class we are giving background and as url we can give one image this is the image all right let it get reload yeah so this is image with background okay and here background background attachment as scroll and let's see how it works so as you can see I am scrolling the background I am scrolling this vertical scroll bar right but it is not scrolling because the background attachment is scroll okay so this is the behavior that works with background image okay to see the difference i will create another div second uh, will be fixed okay. and we need to add same css here as well with fixed and this fixed class background attachment is fixed let's see what is the difference right uh, let's see is there any yeah the height is there let me remove it so this is a fixed background attachment property it's loaded so as you can see now when you scroll in this particular Div, 
you cannot scroll the background image but the image itself looks a little bit different than the above image let's see here yeah this is internal class and with the fixed background attachment is fixed so nothing is moving when you click in and scroll okay and here it is something similar but the image itself is different in the background when you give background attachment as fixed and background attachment as scroll okay and the last and the third property value for this css property is so let's see how it works with local and with local class and background attachment as local yeah so now you can see the difference with local you can scroll the background image right so this is the difference uh, when you scroll out of this viewport you can see this image is scrolling with the viewport and if you want to see this image you need to scroll inside that div so these are the three possible values with background attachment right so here scroll is the default value it scrolls with the main view but stays fixed inside the local view right fixed stays fixed no matter what it's a kind of a uh, physical window moving around the window changes your perspective but it doesn't change where the things are outside of the window right and the third value is local so the value of local was created or invented because default scroll value acts like a fixed background so it scrolls both with the main view and the local view right so there is a difference between scroll fixed and local all right i think i made it clear with this video how this background attachment works though um, you can use this uh, property in your um, images when you are using images as background images all right okay that's all for this video guys if you are new to my channel please give a subscribe button or click on the subscribe button if you have any questions or concerns you can write down your comments below this video thank you guys